It seems as though communications are a common problem in all investigation reports, and they also generate a large percentage of the SAFECOMs and SAFENETs each year. To address the issue and talk about any changes for this upcoming fire season, we turn to the radio professionals at the National Interagency Fire Center. One, one of the things that we're looking at this year, it was actually implemented on a number of fires last year, and that is using more tones on fires. We're going to be using tone access for the repeaters. We're also going to be looking at toning both transmit and receive on the tactical channels. Tactical channels are the, are the one area that we don't have that many of them, and so if you've got fires in close proximity, you've got a lot of problems with interference. Uh, a number of the fires here in Idaho this past summer used tones on both transmit and receive and did away with a lot of that nuisance interference. So that's one of the things that we'll be looking at. Every radio works a little bit differently on that. With some radios, as long as you program the, the tones into the correct channel, you don't have to turn any knobs or anything else. Like I said, with the King, you do need to put the, put the radio in the channel guard position, but here again, it is incumbent on you as a radio user to understand how that radio works. If you have questions, ask, ask the questions, find out how it works. Don't go along thinking, ah, I can figure it out. There's a uh, website, the same, same, same website as last year, www.fireradios.net. And, and, that, and that has information on all of the fire-approved radios that are out there. But one of the big things that I've been seeing over the years is um, it used to be clear and concise when you wanted to transmit a message. I'm, I'm hearing more and more people out there who are not thinking about what they're saying before they hit press to talk. And, and carry on a long-winded conversation. <clears throat> the other thing, remember, if you do have a long transmission, break and let people have a chance to get in there. Um, if you're in, if an emergency has been declared, clear the frequency. You can't, you don't even have time to go back and, and try and finish out your conversation. If somebody declares an emergency, get off the air and keep it clear until that emergency has been declared over.